Hey guys, welcome back for another video which I'll be talking about the 5 Halo figures McFarlane should have made before their agreement with Halo came to an end. Kicking off the list at number 5 we have the Prophet of Truth. This was always a 6 inch figure that people wanted, given the fact that he was basically the main bad guy in Halo 3. While McFarlane didn't make a figure of him, there was a figure made of the 3 Prophets from Halo 2 by Jewel Studios which are becoming harder and harder to find. While they are substantially bigger than the McFarlane figures, they are pretty good substitute. It just would have been great to be able to have the Prophets with grunts and elites around them. The next on the list is a Zealot Elite from Halo 2, better known as the Gold Elites. While McFarlane did in fact make a Halo 3 Gold Assault Elite exclusive to England and Australia, lucky me, they didn't make one of the Halo 2 Zealot a fan favourite. With that being said, they did make a Gold Elite General for Halo Reach, which in all honesty looks friggin' badass. Joyride Studios didn't make a Gold Elite from Combat Evolved, which is now one of the harder to find Joyrides that have ever been made. Third on the list, I have Romeo from Halo 3 ODST. This is one that people still don't understand how or why it wasn't ever made. Given the fact that McFarlane gave us the rest of the Halo 3 ODST crew, that being Buck, Dare, Dutch, Rookie and Mickey, you would think it would be kind of a given that they would give us a sniper. Because people were so desperate to complete the set, many people had to do a custom of him. Crazy thing is, he was actually supposed to be released in 2012 as part of the Universe range. It and other figures like an Elite Commando and Brute Captain Major never saw the light of day. Next on the list is something that I personally always wanted to own. McFarlane brought out a series named the Legendary Collection which consisted of three different figures. The Master Chief, the Arbiter and a Brute Chieftain. The Arbiter and Master Chief figure also had an active camo variant. These figures were more so statue than actual figures as not only were they bigger, but they were in a fixed position and could not be moved. The Tars Vadim, or better known as Shipmaster or Halfjaw, would have made an excellent legendary collection figure. Just imagine him sitting on his floating chair aboard the Shadow of Intent. The cutscene at the end of the Halo 3 mission Floodgate shows how badass he looks sitting up on the thing. And seriously, since the first time I saw that cutscene, I knew that I needed a figure of that. Before we get to number one, I think an honourable mention is due. Going back to Halo 2, the Counselor Elites are not only incredible fighters as we saw in the last mission of Halo 2 when they team up with you with Hunters, but they look insanely badass. With their white sleek armour and their large helmets, these guys would have looked incredible next to all the other McFarlane Elite figures. Now looking at number one, this has been on the edge of people's tongues since the days of Halo 2. While Joyride failed to make it, many had hoped that McFarlane would finally have made everyone's dreams come true. The Elite Honor Guard. Not only did these guys look insanely cool, but their badassery in Halo 2 made them one of the coolest types of Elites ever. The highly ornate armour of the Honor Guard is coloured a combination of glowing red and orange. Other characteristics of these magnificent beasts are jutting spikes and pauldrons indicating their rank and honour. I don't know about you, but if these guys were ever made, I would have bought every single one I could have got my hands on. That's it for this video guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. While the list was made entirely by me, I'm interested in seeing what everyone else has to say. You disagree with my list? Tell me yours in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.